you've been through Why you got scars Since you walked through the door I've been trying to reach you Cause I feel you What's the story to tell? What's the story behind? The mountain you're trying to climb Think of her Welcome back to another video, or if you are brand new here and this is the very first time you ever see on my face, what's up? I am Jen. I have another week's grocery haul and meal plan video coming at you guys. This week we hit up Sam's, Walmart, Target a couple times, and then Aldi's. Didn't need a ton of stuff from all the stores because if you caught my last grocery haul, we hit up a gazillion stores and got like a massive amount of stuff. So didn't need like a huge amount from each store, but all the necessities to keep me trucking along on my health journey as well as feeding my crew. So if you want to see what we picked up in this week's grocery haul just keep watching diving into sam's first here did need a ton of stuff from there this week but picked up some of the members mark wild caught skinless boneless mahi mahi which i am like next level excited about we are going to be cooking this on the blackstone and i know it's going to be superb so i'm super excited for that got some more of the pineapples and also picked up some of the mango sounded delicious my daughter absolutely loves these and i know she'll love these also so picked up two of those Needed some more of the liquid egg whites. And these cases come in a six pack. They're the smaller ones, so it's like perfect for what I need. I don't go through an absolute ton of these, so they last a while. And I think it was like 13 something. It used to be a lot cheaper, but just like everything else, the prices have gone up. But I needed more of those, so picked up that. Got the three pack of the English Seedless Cucumber. They're out of stock of this, or they either have it where you can't do drive up. You actually have to go in store to get them. So I don't always get them, but they had them available this this week so I went ahead and snagged the three pack picked up a bag of the fresh broccoli that I will be baking this is two pounds already cut washed ready to rock and roll got a bag of premium sweet petite carrots I like cooking these and doing like a brown sugar glaze I use the Lakanto brown sugar or just eating them straight like this as a snack is a really good option too it's a huge bag love these the two pack of these 500 square foot aluminum foil was out and needed some especially with all the grilling out that we are doing right now got my daughter some of this special case cereal with strawberries she's been getting the vanilla and almond one from target but they had the two boxes here which was a better deal so we'll see how she likes those with the strawberries added in them got a thing of bananas got a case of the zero sugar chobani yogurts because we've been flying through these and then of course some of the buffalo style chicken dip that we everybody absolutely loves if you guys have not tried this and you like buffalo chicken dip Highly, highly recommend 10 out of 10. Next up is Wally World. We got some more paper plates. I absolutely love these. Great value, plain white, 100 of them, huge stack. Needed more of those, so pick that up. Got some 96% lean ground beef. This is two and a quarter pound. Picked up some Laughing Cow cheese. Not sure why, I guess it's just like habit when I see it, I add it to cart, but I actually have the one that I picked up from Aldi's, which is their garlic and herb brand, which I haven't even tried yet. So I'm not sure if it's good, but it will last and we go through a ton of it. So we have another one of those. This I added to cart as soon as I saw my girl Nicole make like the most delicious looking dessert on Instagram ever. And she used these. They're super cheap too. They were like a dollar something a pack. So super excited to try those out. We needed some more milk and the kids use this kind also. So just went ahead and picked up some of the fat free fair life. Got some sugar free yum yum sauce. This is a higher calorie G Hughes sauce. It's 120 calories for two tables spoons but my daughter absolutely loves yum yum sauce and she wanted something that was sugar free or just a little bit better than the one she was using so I went ahead and picked this one up we'll see how she likes it and if I did want some or hubby we could but it's definitely a lot higher calorie than a lot of the other sauces picked up some of the primal kitchen teriyaki sauce it's 15 calories a serving absolutely love this stuff picked up some more light mayonnaise we were out of butter so got a pack of the unsalted butter some extra calf K-Cups for the hubby. You guys know I absolutely love this minute jasmine rice. 170 calories a serving, 39 carbs, 3 grams protein. Absolutely love this. The daughter loves this. Hubby, everybody. And it's just super easy and convenient. So that's what we roll with. Got the little guys some more of the Mott strawberry apple sauces. Picked up some lunch meat, the oven roasted chicken breasts. I picked up a bag of these uh, organic rainbow baby carrots. I absolutely love these. The kids like just the regular orange ones to cook, but I like these, so I'll throw these on the Blackstone and they'll be delicious. Also got a couple packs of the Baby Bella mushrooms to throw on the Blackstone. Picked up some fire roasted diced green chilies for Taco Tuesday. 
Got a couple packs of the Bumblebee Wild Caught Light Tuna. They were out of all the flavors except for this one. This one is 16 grams protein and 80 calories per pouch. Awesome way to get your protein in. And then lastly, little guys, Pizza Lunchables. So that's everything from Walmart. Next now up is Aldi's and a few things from Target. We'll jump into Aldi's first. Picked up a bag of spinach for the Tuscan salmon that we'll be making this week. Picked up a bag of shredded lettuce. I actually had added some shredded lettuce to my Target order, but a lot of times when I do, they are out. So when I saw it in Aldi's, because Aldi's doesn't always carry it, but I saw it in there while I was in there. So I just went ahead and grabbed one just in case, which I did end up having the one at Target. So we're doubled up, but I go through it like crazy. So we will definitely use it up. Got two bags of the oats and honey protein granola. Hubby and I have both been flying through this and like yogurt bowls and stuff. So I went ahead and grabbed two bags while we were in there. Picked up a pack of bell peppers for Taco Tuesday. Picked up two packs of the Mediterranean herb salmon. I'm going to be using this for the Tuscan salmon. You guys know, hands down, the absolute best salmon out of anywhere ever. This stuff is delicious. Picked up some strawberries. Look how red and beautiful those look. Excited to eat these babies. Picked up some of these Fat Boy ice creams for the hubby and the kids. They're only 150 calories, and hubby absolutely loves these. And six came in this box. It's normally five, so that was a win. Picked those up for them. Picked up some queso for the kiddos. I could have this too. It's 45 calories a piece, one gram protein, three carbs, and three fat. Got some fat-free half and half. Hubby can use this in his coffee. And then also I will be using this for the Tuscan chicken. It's 20 calories a serving, which is two tablespoons, one gram protein, three carbs. Picked up some whipped topping. They did not have the sugar-free and I checked at Walmart and Target and neither of them had the sugar-free whipped topping either. This one is 15 calories a serving. So definitely Definitely not bad and you just use a little bit at a time so that'll work out perfect got some snacks for the kiddos for the 4th of July they had this huge party size chips ahoy pick that up and then they had this 18 pack of chips which will be awesome for the 4th just to, to grab and go and they don't normally carry these at Aldi's so and they had them on a good deal so I went ahead and picked those up and then also for a 4th of July or any time really, these cinnamon apple straws looked really delicious. 30% less fat than regular potato chips. They are 140 calories, a serving which is 36 straws, which is a pretty good size snack. One gram protein, 17 carbs, seven fat. But I thought that would be an awesome snack to have on the 4th too. So I went ahead and picked that up. And then when I got home just now, this enormous thing of G Hughes sugar-free ketchup had come in the mail. I ordered this in my Walmart order and they didn't have it in stock so they shipped it it literally showed up in one day i couldn't believe it was already here and y'all this thing is massive 26.5 ounces but it's just like such a massive jar that will last a hot minute but you know we go through that i prefer this over like regular ketchup this is the bomb as you guys know and the fam likes it too so it works out now for Target, didn't need a ton of stuff from there. They were out of the regular dino nuggets that I normally get, the Purdue ones that have veggies in them. Little guy never can tell the difference and he doesn't eat a lot of vegetables, so I like to sneak them in wherever I can. But they were sold out, so I went ahead and got the Tyson Fun Nuggets. He likes these also, so grabbed those. Got some Faye 0% yogurt for meal prep. Shredded lettuce I already told you about. Got some of the Colby Jack Sargento Ultra Thin Cheese, which is 40 calories a slice. Picked up some of this Siete Dairy-Free Queso. I used to haul this a lot, like way back when I was doing dairy-free. 25 calories a serving, one and a half fat, two carbs, and two grams protein. But I wanted some cheese to throw on broccoli this week, and so this was only 25 calories a serving, so I went ahead and snagged it up. We needed some more dill relish, and they are out of these squeeze bottles, which I just like for convenience a lot, so I went ahead and stocked up on two because they had them in stock and then I'm super excited to try this out Nicole showcased this in her last vlog this is honey mustard French's mustard made with real honey and it is only 10 calories a serving so I'm super excited to try that but that's everything from Target and Aldi's now we'll jump into the meal plan we have cheesy beef and rice on Monday Taco Tuesday, we'll be doing chicken fajitas with corn. This will be like an open face chicken fajitas. We're gonna cook them on the Blackstone and just make like chicken fajita bowls with the Southwest Fiesta corn. Wednesday, we're gonna be doing Tuscan salmon and broccoli. And for Thursday, we'll be going in with some cheesy onion and beef grilled cheese. I'm gonna use some of the leftover cheesy onion and beef that I make on Monday night and throw it on a grilled cheese. Kind of like a little patty melt or Frisco melt situation. Make sure to tune into the vlogs to see how I throw those together. And we're gonna be pairing them with some of those frozen fries 
fries from Target. We're going to throw those in the air fryer. Friday, we will be going in with the Blackstone Mahi Mahi with sweet potatoes and cream spinach. Definitely excited for that dinner. And then, of course, for all of you that have followed me forever, you know that Saturday and Sunday, I always leave for leftovers. We either go out to eat or we just make sure that all the leftovers throughout the week are cleared out. That way, we have very minimal food waste and we clear the fridge out for all the upcoming food for the following week. This week's snacks are pretty much the same as usual. We have Built Bars, of course. We have Greek yogurt with berries, which has been like a go-to every single day. Carnivore Crisp are new. Just got those last week. I've already tried them a couple times. They are phenomenal. I have a bunch of different flavors. I haven't tried all of them, but again, make sure you guys are watching the weekly vlogs to see what I do with those. And then, of course, rice cakes and nut butter are repeat every single week. This week's meal prep, we will be doing the breakfast sandwiches and buffalo ranch chicken salad for lunch, and I also will be filming that, so make sure you guys are looking out for that video. So that will do it for this week's meal plan. Of course, feel free to screenshot this if you want. Also comment down below any dinners that you guys are loving right now that are low calorie, high protein, and super delicious. I love getting ideas from you guys too, but that will wrap it up for this week's grocery haul and meal plan. If you enjoyed these videos, make sure to give it a thumbs up. That definitely helps your girl out, and I appreciate it more than you guys know. If you aren't subscribed, make sure to do that before you leave. That way you won't miss out on any future videos as they post. And of course, for all the behind the scenes and more macro-friendly meals and motivation and all of that, hit me up over on Instagram. I'll pop my handle on the screen here. And thank you guys so very much for watching, and I will catch y'all in the next video.